Want to take upside down cake over the top? An easy upside down cake becomes a showpiece of a plate of dessert with the simple addition of a meringue cap and a bumbleberry sauce. And that's exactly what I'm adding to the lemonberry saucing cakes that I made earlier. Let's start with the bumbleberry sauce. Bumbleberry is simply any combination of berries cooked together. So I'm using the same berries that I used in the saucing cakes. I have a cup each of blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. But to begin the sauce, I'm only going to start by cooking half a cup of each. I'll add a splash of lemon juice, just a tablespoon, and three quarters of a cup of sugar. And I'll simmer this over medium heat for about 10 minutes, just until the fruit softens up. So while that starts to cook, I can prepare the meringue caps for the lemonberry sauce and cakes. And just to show you, I've got the sauce and cakes, except now they're completely chilled. You can see how the lemon sauce actually sets into a true lemon curd. So to make the meringue, I've got two egg whites. And to that, I'll add half a teaspoon of lemon juice. And as I'm whipping these to a stiff peak, I'll add a third of a cup of sugar. The simple combination of egg whites and sugar is known as a French meringue, and it's the type of meringue you'd find on lemon meringue pie. I've got a piping bag fitted with a star tip, and I just pipe the meringue on top of each little saucing cake. So to finish off the meringues, I'm gonna use a butane kitchen torch, very restaurant style. Of course, you can broil the meringues for two minutes in the oven just to brown the outside. Mm. It even smells a little like toasted marshmallow. So now, to put one on a plate, ready to be garnished. There we go. And the final addition, the warm bumbleberry sauce. Oh, all that beautiful color has cooked out from the berries. Now, I shut off the heat, and just using the back of a spoon, I roughly mash up the berries within the sauce. Just like the cranberries, this mix of berries has pectin in it, and the pectin's actually in the seeds. So by mashing it, it extracts the pectin and will help to thicken the sauce. So now that I have half of the berries mashed and cooked into the sugar syrup, I can add the remaining half a cup of each berry, blueberry, raspberry, and blackberry to make the bumbleberry combination, and just stir and let the residual heat from the sauce, just soften them up slightly. Of course, you can serve a sauce like this chilled, but I love the contrast between the chilled lemon upside down cake, you've got the just browned meringue layer, and then a spoonful, or maybe two, of this beautiful bumbleberry sauce. So a simple upside down cake has become an elegant plated dessert. So now that you've seen so many creative ways to prepare an upside down cake, you can take all these ideas to your own kitchen to bake and enjoy.